Okay, so you pick your headline events. Who goes first? Uh, you just reveal at the same time, and the lower number goes second. So I, I win. One USSR influence in each of any four African and Southeast Asian countries. So I'm going to put one into. Angola. I'm gonna put uh H24, so one in another place. Control Indonesia and I get four of these, right? Yeah. Laos or Burma. And my last one will go in Thailand. Okay, so that gets discarded. All right, uh, USSR reveals hand this turn, then US may conduct an operation as if they played a one-off card. That's mm, kind of guy. devastating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would prefer not to let you know that. And my understanding of that card is you can look at those cards whenever you want. Really? I, I reveal this turn so that you get like the entire. I think you get. That's my understanding. You can look at it whenever you want. All right. Middle East and Asia scoring cards. Okay. So then that gets. Oh, yeah. You can play your one up too. Oh, can I not touch it? Uh, right, yeah. So you have to play it as if you played a regular card. And I can't put it in Indonesia? No, you need two to break my control. Okay. It still counts as Asia. Right, your card was Asia, not Southeast Asia, right? Yeah, my card, yeah. Southeast Asia is in the, uh, the mid war. Yeah. Okay, so then it's my turn first. I'm going to play Duck and Cover. Um, to grade DEFCON one level, US player earns victory points equal to five minus the current. So I'm going to, I'm going to do my coup first. I'm going to coup Italy. Okay. So... Uh, you want to roll a die. I've got a three value card here. And what is it? So what do I need? I need a... I need a one to... What do I have? I have three. So I have six. I need a, uh, yeah, a, a one basically tied. So I need anything better than a one. Alright. Roll away. Just one die? Uh, yeah. So, it's the, I have five plus three is eight, and four doubled, so it's a difference of four. Where's so the five come from? Good, the dice roll. Okay. So the dice roll plus the three is eight. Italy doubled is four, so it's a difference of four. So you lose your two and I gain my two. And the communists are in Italy. Okay. And then this goes down the value of the card. So I get three. And this goes down. To what do I get for victory points? You get now this now this event is going to happen. So degrade this one level, and you get five minus three, so you get two. Okay. Right. Duck and cover goes into the replay pile, and then it's USA. And so now you can't coup Asia. Okay. Or Europe. Oh, I see why you did that now. Alright, I'm gonna play... I'm gonna play the Suez Canal with UN Intervention on top. Okay. So that cancels out your effect. Yep. And, and then I just like three ops. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. One in India in Pakistan. Okay. 
Where's the discard pile going? Uh, those are the deleted events, so they both go into this reuse event. Okay, so. So it's Ashran 2. Alright, um, I guess we should put these out just to remind ourselves. I'm going to play right, we'll Norad. So the event's staying out there. What does Norad do? You control Canada. You get the, uh, and the DEF CON goes down to two. You get a operation point. Okay. Or an, an influence that you can place anywhere. So with that, I'm going to coup Iran. Yes. Yes, I am. So, if you want to roll for me, it's the same situation. So Iran's got a four. My card's a three. So, three I plus lose two. two. Yeah, you lose two. And you... And it's just gone. I don't gain anything. Okay. And then I get the ops going up here. This goes down to two. Okay. And that's your turn. So since you don't control Canada, you don't get anything from that point. Okay. I'll play the, uh, this through the ops. So I uh, will, we can no longer coup in the Middle East? No. Yeah. Two in Egypt. Like one more. You don't own that, right? I do. Prime is a one, isn't it? It's a two. Oh, it's a two. Yeah, flip that over. No. All right, so that's yours. Yep. So you want to flip that action round marker. And I am going to. This. I'm going to play Warsaw for the ops. Okay. So I have three. I'm going to put one into Thailand. And then... One there. And then Laos, Cambodia. South Korea. Okay. So this is in the discard. Possible to come back. How many? If I don't take an ops, how much victory points will I lose? Just so one? it's DEFCON minus the ops. So you lose two. Because your DEFCON's at two now. Okay. And you have zero, so it's two negative points. But the only places I can coup are non battlegrounds. In. Um, Outside of the main world area here, so you're in like the Americas and Africa. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, I don't think you have anything you can coup there. Okay. Do you want a beer? Uh, sure. I'm gonna play. Uh, do you want me to show it for you? Uh, no, you can just explain it. Fitting for this stupid game. No. <laughs> what, did you, what did you play? Sorry, you played Olympics for the Ops? Yeah, so I played for two and I put it in South Korea. Okay, so you don't control South Korea because I have one influence on that. Oh, damn. You know what I'm going to do then? Yeah, I'm going to take the... Uh... Alright. So Olympics goes in the reuse pile. And you can flip that guy. So, 
I am going to. Are we on the fourth or the fifth round? We're on the fourth. So I have to use these three cards? You'll have. You should have one card left over, but you used your UN intervention, so you'll have. So you won't have any extra cards at the end of the round. Because you used two cards for your one turn. Okay. So I'm going to. Oh, I forgot that there was the headline space. The headline space. Yeah. Oh. oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. So you have two cards that don't count for action rounds each hand. I am going to. Is this worth it at this point? I'm going to. I'm going to play Asia scoring. So we both have presence, right? Because we each have control of a country. Mm -hmm. Neither one of us has domination because I have more countries than you, but we both have equal battlegrounds. We both have two. So it's just presence plus the ben uh, benefit of battlegrounds with a bonus. So I have three plus one and two is five. You have five as well. So it's a wash. So nothing happens? Can I take the scoring card? Cause... Yep. I gotta refresh this. Plus one per country control. So if you're next to the Soviets, you get a bonus. Oh, that's okay. Where'd you get five from? Because I have North Korea and Thailand. So I have presence plus the battleground bonus. So plus one for each of my battlegrounds. And you had five. What do you, what do you have for presence? Just presence is because we both have. Uh, we control a country in the area. Oh, it doesn't matter which country? It, it's not, it, it could be a battleground. No, battleground or none. You just okay. have to control a country to have presence. Okay. Sure. Easy. And so then it's your turn if you want to flip that thing over to the action marker. Just keep track of where we are. So I'll play blockade. Unless the U.S. player immediately discards a three or more value, Operation Card eliminated all influence in West Germany, which I don't have any. Okay. One, uh, really crappy card. Okay, and then blockade's a one-time event, right? So it just goes with the CIA. Yeah. Discarded. All right, so turn five. I'm going to play... The Marshall Plan. Okay. Uh, do I'm, I'm going to do my thing first. So I have four ops, and I'm going to take... West Germany before you can get back in there. All right. And so now add one U.S. influence in each of seven non-USSR controlled Western European countries. Two. You can boost your uh, controlled... Oh, can I? Yeah, as long as I don't control it. Five. And then the Marshall Plan is an effect card, so it's going to stay out here. Six. Just throw it up here, I don't remember. So NATO can be played now. Uh, I'm going to take Greece. Okay. Alright. Then it's... I'm going to space race destalinization. Oh. Yeah. It's a good card. Yeah, it is a good card. So. What so is it? You have, to, you have to roll a one or a three? Yeah, one or a three. And it has to be a minimum of two ops. Yeah. yeah that's what it's like. Okay. Damn it. Four. Just missed. Not really a card, at least. You did. It's a good card for me. So you only have one turn left, right? Yes. You have to play... I have to play the Middle East scoring yeah. card that you know I have. And you're going to get the presents for it. And the bonus. So, yep, as he saw earlier, I have to play Middle East scoring now. So you get four, because you have presents, I don't have anything, and you have a battleground. Okay, and you get nothing? I get nothing. Oh, damn. 
So Why couldn't you just play your other card and let that get discarded? You have to play scoring cards. You have to. You can't hold scoring. It's a, you lose the game if you hold a scoring card to the end. Okay. Yep. Well, it was really great that I knew that then. Yes. <laughs> it was very good. Um, yeah, it's yeah. going to be really great to play this card. Uh, the Cambridge Five. No. The U.S. player exposes all... Oh, the U.S. player exposes all scoring cards. The USSR player may then add one influence. Oh. So you don't have any? I didn't have any scoring cards, so I was thinking you had to... No, I don't, I don't get the benefit. You might as well play that late. You know? Yeah. Uh, all right, so I get two. Good. Well, take Canada. Oh, Canada... So Canada's controlled? Yep. All right, so you've got NORAD, and that's the end of that turn. I'm going to hold on to that card. So we'll reset everything. 